If we consider the painting The Guardian Angel by Tina Saletnich, we find a rich set of influences. The aerial view by Gerardo Dottori, the decomposition of the space uh, again in the line of the futurism, some echoes from clay. Uh, those references are processed with her genuine stylistic code, uh, with the deepness of the relation uh, she usually has with her models. Uh, where deepness is not meant as mere cognitive knowledge, but more as uh, emotional involvement and perception. La difficoltà di ehm, vivere il mondo dell'arte a Roma. The difficulty of living in the art community in Rome was the need to be part of a certain entourage, a bit worldly, particular. Sì, particolare. Ed era difficile entrare in quel giro per un it was difficult to get in such entourage for a person like me, who had a family and other commitments. I found an advertisement for a graphic design course in the municipality of Rome that took place in Via Cavour, and I thought I'd attend. I already had two children while there were all teenagers following this course. One of the teachers was Professor Tony Bonavita, who was a journalist who taught printing layout something I understood to be a quite complex subject. With a typometer, it was necessary to take many measures. Professor Bonavita, Tony Bonavita, che era eh, un giornalista, infatti lì insegnava impaginazione, una cosa che ho capito abbastanza um, complessa, eh? con il tipometro bisognava prendere tutte le misure, e, um, però lui era anche un critico d'arte. But he was also an art critic, and he asked me why I attended the course. If I wanted a degree or to learn the practice. I wanted to learn. He told me he owned a publishing company and that I could learn there. And in fact, I did book covers for him, with many difficulties because, like all the experts in the field, he took it for granted that I knew some things. But no. I found myself not knowing how to align the letters of a title. Now you do it with a computer, but then, no. We were in the 1980s, so I had some difficulties, but Tony Bonavita liked the covers that I designed, and he suggested me to do a serigraphs edition. Uh, parlo degli anni 80, e quindi avevo delle difficoltà, però a Tony Bonavita piacevano le, eh, le copertine che ideavo, e poi mi eh, suggerì di fare una tiratura di serigrafie. In short, he tried to help me in my first steps in the world of art. The experience of the publishing house was very, very interesting for me. And even now, I look at certain book covers with satisfaction because they represented an operational activity of mine, because it is quite different to make an exhibition, sell a few paintings, and to play an operating role in a company. Così rappresentavano anche una mia attività operativa, perché un conto è fare una mostra, magari vendere qualche quadro, un conto è entrare proprio in un settore operativo. E su Tony Bonavita posso dire che On Tony Bonavita I can say that he was an art critic, a journalist, but he was a true artist, very profound because he immediately understood the difficulties I had to reconcile family and creativity. But it is true that at the first exhibition that I did, wrote me a presentation and described me as a prison of anger and sweetness. Anger because there were constraints to be respected, schedules, family, etc., while sweetness was referred to a part of me positive towards life and he perceived this difficulty. Then in his own circle, I met another critic, Giuseppe Selvaggi, who was a poet, wrote some magnificent poems, was a parliamentary journalist, who also took care of art with a deep attention for art and artists, for what they wanted to say. And he too, somehow in parallel, in an exhibition told about me. Tina Seletnik between dream and everyday life. My two poles, the need of everyday life and of the dream.
I always remember them with gratitude. Yes. In qualche modo in parallelo, in una mostra mi disse Tina Saletnic tra sogno e quotidianità. Quindi i due poli, no? Delle esigenze della vita quotidiana e il sogno, la fantasia. Me li ricordo sempre con, con gratitudine. Sì. Luigi Tallarico è un importante studioso del futurismo. Luigi Tallarico, an important scholar of futurism, looking at my works, has perceived my attention for futurism in the synthesis of shapes and colors. In reality, this futuristic aspect of mine is only partially true, regarding only some works. In general, I think to represent reality with an impressionist and geometric style, more akin to cubism. Mista e geometrico, più affine al cubismo. Many, still nowadays, include the term futurism the whole path of visual art that has gone beyond realistic representation. Historical futurism was above all a reaction to the rhetorical and repetitive figurative as well as to the bourgeois monotonous living, fearful of novelties. These effective words are taken from the essay written by Tina Soletnik in 2014. Futurism in 2000 and beyond. Since 2000, the artist's research has focused on the implications of the digital revolution in artistic creation. Graphics processing softwares, ever more powerful computers, opens up horizons of enormous expressive potential. This research by Tina Sletnik is documented in the 2011 exhibition entitled Digital Monotypes held at the headquarters of the first municipality of Rome, that of the historical center district. Digital experiments, computer graphics. With the words of Tina Soletnik, not everyone is prepared for this revolution, but in the disputed futurism of yesterday, as well as in the electronic futurism, man will always be at the center of the universe with its grandeur and fragility.